Is that you on the screen? Mm, no. That is you. Where did you get this picture from? It's your picture. I'm asking, where did you get my picture from? So it is your picture. It's not my picture. Warning, this was performed by trained professionals. Don't try this at home. You might be wondering how we get scammer photos. Well, sometimes the scammer gives us information like their email or website. And with some basic open source intelligence technique, it's not hard to get their photos. Open source intelligence is the collection and analysis of data gathered from open sources. Let's get started. This scammer uses the fake name Isabella. But before I call her, let me take a minute and turn on my VPN. I always use a VPN while calling scammers because it protects my computer. I am using Atlas VPN, who is the sponsor of today's video. And as you can see, Atlas VPN is very easy to use. I just push one button and I am safe. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount. It means you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.99 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Time is running out, so get your deal by clicking the link in the video description below. This is the best VPN deal in the market. Aside from being able to protect my computer when calling scammers, Atlas VPN lets me bypass annoying restrictions on websites like Netflix, so I can watch content not available in my country. Atlas VPN even allows me to save money while shopping online. Atlas VPN stops ads and malware, and it keeps my Google searches private. And lastly, I can protect unlimited devices with just one subscription. Atlas VPN is available on a wide range of devices. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount. It means you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.99 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Time is running out, so get your deal by clicking the link in the video description below. Let's get started. Hello. Thank you for calling Tech Support. This side Hello. is Isabella. Hello. Great. We got her on the phone. She's going to connect to my computer, I mean my virtual machine, in order to try to convince me that my computer is infected. How may I help you? I think I have a virus. Why do you think that, sir? I got a pop-up while browsing the internet. It said to call this number. What else did the pop-up say? This is the type of pop-up they are using. It locks the browser so it's very difficult to exit. A person who is not tech savvy might believe this is a real warning. This is not a legitimate virus warning. It's always a scam. Never call any number you see in a pop-up like this. There is a warning code that says 268D3. I have seen so many of these pop-ups that I have them memorized by now. In fact, I see them in my dreams sometimes, just like the scammers have nightmares about me. Oh, okay, sir. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Do you have Windows 8, 10, or 11? I have Windows 11. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you have a laptop or a desktop? I have a desktop. Why do they always ask this? It literally doesn't matter. The only thing a remote technician can fix is software, which is the same on both. Do you see the window key on your keyboard? It's the four flag key in the bottom left and bottom yes. right of the keyboard. Yes. Press and hold the window key and press the letter R as in Romeo. I see a run box. She's going to ask me to go to a website and download a remote control software, which will allow her to connect to my computer. She will be able to see my desktop, my files, and control my computer in real time. Let's skip ahead to where she's already connected to my computer. Can you see my mouse moving your desktop? Yes. The scammer is connected. She can see my computer. Mm, can you show me the warning you were getting? No. Why not, sir? It dissipated from the computer. Okay, sir. Let me diagnose the computer. The scammer is now going to open the command prompt and she will run the tree command. The tree command just lists every file on the computer. She will claim that she is running a virus scanner. While the tree command is running, she will paste a message she wrote herself, which will say that my computer has a bunch of viruses. Um, what are you doing? 
I'm scanning your computer for viruses. The only virus scanner that comes included with Windows is Windows Defender. It's a great antivirus and most people don't need a third party one. However, the command prompt or the event viewer are not virus scanners. Okay sir, the scan has finished. Like you can see, you have some network infections. No, I don't. Yes sir, you can see here the virus scanner found some infections. That's not a virus scanner. Sir, I'm a certified Microsoft technician. It's time to confront her. I will open her picture on my screen. You are a certified scammer. Who told you that we are scammers? Is that you on the screen? Is that you on the screen? Mm, no. That is you. Where did you get this picture from? It's your picture. I'm asking, where did you get my picture from? So it is your picture. It's not my picture. Sure thing. It's not your picture. That's why you just asked me, where did you get my picture from? You just said that it was. Where did you get the picture from? If it's not your picture, why do you care? Do you know who that is? Yes, it's you. I'm telling you again and again, it's not my picture. Fix it. Fix what? Tell me where you got my picture from. It's your picture. Where did you get it from? Don't worry about it. I just used her real name and she hung up. How sad. Since she lied to me, I think it's only fair that I destroy her entire call center with my call flooder. The call flooder will call the scammer hundreds of times per minute. And since they are using a toll-free number, they will have to pay for every call that I make. <laughs> You might be wondering what does the call flooder sound like for the scammers. I actually play lines from movies and video game characters to the scammers. It is capable of playing a line, waiting for a scammer to say something, and then it plays another line until the scammer hangs up. Then it just calls again and repeats the process. Let's listen to a funny recording between the call flooder and the scammer. My name is Sam. How can I help you today? Nano machines. Sir, why are you calling again and again, sir? This is the seventh time you are My calling. My turn. My name is Sam. How can I help you today? This feels great. Sir, this is the ninth time, sir. I have a dream that one day. Every person in this nation will control their own nano machines. Sir, listen to me, sir. This is the 14th time you called over here, okay? Let's it's a technical support, so we have a lot of work to do. So don't call over here. After running the call footer for a few hours, I try calling them again. Child is not in service. Well, it looks like the scammer's number is down. I will run my scanner to make sure that they didn't buy a new number. And when they do, I will destroy them again and again until they give up permanently. So please like, subscribe, share and comment on the video. I will respond to everyone who comments in the first hour. Thank you for watching and have a good day.